Hi guys, it's Gio. Welcome to Planner Talk Tuesdays. Um, welcome if you're new and if you're subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. So if you are into planners, paper, pens, stickers, this video is for you. So stay tuned. All right, so I wanted to share some things that I picked up in preparation for my 2016 Inkwell Press Planner that will be coming. Um, I know uh, their second launch date is November 12th. Um, so if you're watching this um, after November 12th, on November 12th, or after November 12th, you should head on over to Inkwell Press's website, check out what they have to offer. Hopefully they won't sell out as fast as they did during the first launch, but I'm really excited. You know, I've traditionally gotten an Erin Condren for the past three years, and I just was bored with it, and I want something different, and I'm so excited that I found Inkwell Press just through Instagram and, um, you know, being joined in a couple of different planner Facebook groups. So um, I'm just going to share with you some things that I got that for my planner and also for Bible study. First up are the stickers that I ordered from Libby & Co. I love, this is like one of my favorite, let me zoom in a little bit. This is like one of my favorite sticker companies on Etsy. Her quality is really, really good. Very thick paper. She uses Avery. Okay. They are a matte finish, maybe semi-gloss finish. I would consider this a semi-gloss finish. You definitely cannot write on these stickers with pens. You definitely have to use a uh, permanent marker to write on these, and I'll share with you some of the ones that I have in a little bit. But I got these stickers, and you get this entire sheet for $4.50. So if, if you want to see in, like, maybe, let me see, let me use my old last year's Erin Condren notebook. This is the size of the Erin Condra notebook, and this is the size of the st sticker sheet. That's a lot of stickers for $4.50. Anyone, else, anyone who's ordered sticker, stickers from Etsy, you know that they can get very expensive once you add sh um, shipping on there. It can get pretty pricey for one sheet of stickers. So she gives you definitely the most bang for your buck. Um, but, you know, I've tried to decorate my planner with, with stickers before in the past, and I've always just, I don't know, I never really stayed committed to it. So this time I just really wanted to focus on getting functional stickers that I can actually use and not just decorative ones. So I got, and also what I did was... I'm going to be splitting these with my friend, so that way it's not that big, big of an investment if I decide that, you know, stickers aren't working for me and I just want to write in my planner like normal, um, it's not that big of an investment. So each one of these sticker sheets were $4.50. So we got some to clean headers here in the pastels, and I think that these colors will work with the... Um, Inkwell Press, the pastels will. You know, the bold ones, I don't know, not so much, but... Um, some to-do headers here, and then um, I got one bold color, I don't know, just to see how it's going to look in the planner. And then these hexagons, which anyone who's familiar with Inkwell Press, you know, hexagon is like their logo, so um, their um, monthly goal sheet and every, or their monthly goals page is all full of large hexagons, so I thought that these would be a nice touch on here. So we got two sheets of those. These payday stickers, just like I said, just, just functional stickers. Same color scheme. You get quite a few on here on one sheet. Bill Do. These are cute too. I love the gray. It's pretty. It almost looks like purple um, on here, like a very light violet. And then the school I think it, she calls this just the school stickers, and you have like report card, first day of school, your various breaks throughout the year, field trips, really cute, and then no daycare. All functional. Each of these were four fifty, and we have like let's see, one, two, ten. So I can't even remember in my head. I think it was like around fifty five dollars or something like that. So I'm gonna be splitting these with my friend. I also got these freebies. Aren't they so cute? I love the little fox and then the deer and the owl. So that's a really cute sheet. The other sticker company 
that I this is my first time ordering from her it's called planner chick designs um, she has two dollar Tuesdays and for these sheets each of these sheets were two dollars and I ordered two for me and then two for my friend in the pastels again I think these would work really well with the inkwell press really cute it's kind of it's like a little bit thinner than the um, Libby and Co stickers and they're definitely not semi gloss or anything just matte you could probably use a pen on these and what what also is cool is that each of these little icons up here is a sticker so um, and then she hole punches them because she sells sticker books like like little binders you can add these to uh, a binder if you choose which is I think is very very helpful and these are relatively small again I'll show you in comparison to the um, Aaron Condra notebook these could fit right in like the inside pocket if you wanted to which is cool so and then also also ordered these period trackers I know TMI but uh, then maybe it's not as bad if you have a cute sticker to track it with and then you got I got these free uh, little set here very cute oops upside down very cute it has the icons here icons here and then all of these super cute again these were each two dollars and then this was one dollar all together it was like six or or no it was like eleven dollars I think so because these were two dollars each and then this was a dollar and then so this was free so that is it for the stickers let me show you what else I bought I bought these sh sharpie um highlighter gel gel highlighters now I've never used anything like this but I thought that these would be great for my Bible study class because it's supposed to not bleed or dry out or um, you know give you that smeared kind of look when you write especially with a gel pen and you try to highlight it so I'm gonna de definitely test these out and see if I like them and if they're safe enough to, for me to use in my Bible or my um, Bible notepad, which I'll show you in a second here. This notebook is the notebook that I got for Bible study. I just thought it was really cute. It was small. It has lots of different colors in it. I think it was like $3.99. Just, you know, nothing too spectacular, but it's going to fit wonderfully in my new Bible study tote, which I'm super excited about. Here's my Bible study tote. Let me zoom out so you can really see. This is from the Ashley Mark collection at Target. Super cute, it was perfect. I got this idea from Beth Creates. I think that's her Instagram name. I will link it down below or post or put a title right here, but I just thought it was super cute. It's a, it's a cosmetic bag, but I think it works perfectly for my Bible study class. My husband and I both go to Bible study, and so it fits both of our um, Bibles in here. And then it also has, I know it's kind of hard to see because it's black, but it has a little organizational components on the side here. And then also on this side. So you could fit, I could fit my pens in there and my highlighters like so, which is cute. And it's gonna fit my notebook. And if you wanted to use this for your planner, you can use that as well. It's not very like hard or anything like that. It's, it's definitely a soft shelled um, tote. But I just thought it was stylish and cute and I just grab it and go for my Bible study, study class. My notebook fits in there and it zips up. I just think it's super, super, super cute. Again, I got this at Target and it was $29.99. Now, on to my favorite part, the pens. Okay, I'm going to start with the permanent markers I bought. These, um, I'm sure all of you guys have had these and have used these in the past. They are Sharpie permanent markers, ultra fine. And I got this in this really just kind of like darker pink color purple, black, and you know, they're just basic. I have a blue one as well. These are for stickers. 
Now, if any of you guys are involved in any kind of planner groups on Facebook or joined any planner groups on Facebook, everyone talks about this Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent Marker. They say it's so, so great. It's so perfect. Uh, my sister went into the city uh, to an art store called Dick Blick and they sell them individually there. I think there it was only $2.99, whereas on Amazon, these are like eight bucks for one. Um, and I bought it, and so, or my sister bought it for me, and so um, they only had black, they did not have blue. I, I'm, you know, a lot of people are like team black, team, team blue. I'm either or, it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. But um, this is what I bought, and if you wanna see how it writes, let me get a tablet. So this is how it writes. Let's zoom in here. Because I know people will show their pens, but it's it's good to see how it writes, at least for me. It's very, very thick. I, I have horrible handwriting too, by the way, sorry. It's kind of hard to do this on camera. I don't know if I like this. I mean, I guess it's okay to like, you see the bleed through there. I mean, this is just the thinnest. This is very thin paper though. Um, I don't like writing in markers, you know, so it's, if it's just like to write an appointment on a sticker, I think it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that's that. So let me show you the pens. So here are the pens that I bought. Um, and I can just tell you right now, let me tell you which ones I love. These Energels are everything. Okay. When I tell you they write so smooth, so nice. Let me let the camera focus. They write so smooth, so nice. I mean, it is like the perfect liquid gel pen. Um, I got it in blue and then as well in black. And it is so nice. Let me show you how it writes. I know, excuse my handwriting, I'm not the best. But I love how smooth it is. Love, love, love how smooth it is. So I got that in blue and in black. This is the black one. Okay, so I got these Sharpie pens on recommendation by, I think her, her happily a housewife. In one of her her vlogs, she mentioned how much she liked these way better than the Sharpie permanent marker pen. Not this one, but they have another one that's like ultra, ultra like fine pen. So let's write with these and see how they turn out. This is the blue one. Okay, it's like a felt tip pen. It looks green. It almost looks green on this yellow um, paper. It's not as a dark of a blue. Let's try the black one. Yeah, it's definitely a felt tip pen. It's definitely a felt tip pen. Can you see that? I didn't realize that when I was in the store. I'm glad I only bought two of them because I don't know if I like this to write in smoothly. I just like a smooth roller ball. I mean, it's smooth, but again, I like like profound ink that's like dark. You see how the difference in the black inks on this? I don't know. I could just be a weirdo. I hope I didn't, I'm not losing you guys <laughs> with my weird pen fetish. <laughs> um, I 
also bought, all right, so I bought these, let's see, Uniball Signos. I bought it in blue and in purple. Um, I think I also bought a black one too. Uh, oh, no, this is blue, black, and purple. I really hope I like these. So I, I follow Jen Plans on Periscope, and she wrote with one, one of these Uniball Signos, and I loved the way it looked, and it seemed like it wrote really smoothly. So let's see how they write. I really hope I like them because I bought three of them. Let's use the black first. Oh, I like it. Still like the inner gel the best, but oops, I just forgot to zoom you in. I really like it. That's the black. Let's test the blue. Ooh, I like it. You see the difference in blues here? It just looks better right here. Um, I still like the Energel the best though. That's the that's my number one though. Let's see the purple. I like the purple. It's dark, very dark purple. I don't even know if you could see it on camera. I like these. These will work for me. These are gonna work for sure, but like my favorite pen, no doubt, is the, oh, I must have bought four Uniballs. I f Here's another one. Let's see. This is purple too. I must have bought four accidentally. I didn't mean to. I'll take one to work. Okay, so last but not least, as far as pens go, I bought this Bic, they were pretty cheap, they're only like four bucks for a pack of three. Bic Atlantis Exact Smooth Writing. It's black, it's kind of thin, and I should have known because I don't like very thin pins. Well, I'll write with it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's even hard for me to hold it because it's so small. Hate it. I use I use these at work because I don't like them that much. I wouldn't use them in my inkwell press. Can you guys tell I'm super excited about my inkwell press? But let me show you my very, very favorite planner goodie that I recently purchased. I love this so much. I already used it for work, but um, let's see. Let's go to a blank page. So if any of you guys have been watching my Vlogtober videos, you know that I mentioned that I thought about getting uh, inkwell press kickstart um, weekly notepad. It's $17 on Inkwell Press's website, inkwellpress.com. And then I stumbled upon this goodie at Target. Now it's by the company Sugar Paper, and they have a whole beautiful line um, at Target. And I'll insert a clip here of what I'm talking about. But this was a really good find. It has a, a you know a place for you to write the date, the week. And then all your, all your to-do lists for the whole week uh, that you're working on. And then you can break it down by day on this side. Now, it is horizontal. And, of course, the Inkwell Press uh, one is a lot nicer. You don't get as many pages on, Inkwell, on the Inkwell Press one. This one comes with, like, a ton. This, will, this should last you for at least two years. But, um, you know, I still can use this as my daily to-do list. This is a weekly, this is a daily, and this is how I used it for work so far. And I love it. I just really, really like it. It's nice and small and compact. I could bring it home or just use it at work. Again, I'll show you in comparison to the Erin Condren. It's just a little larger, not by much, maybe an inch, inch and a half larger than the Erin Condren. 
So I really, really like this. It doesn't take up much room on my desk at work in my office. So I really, really like this. This could be something if you were thinking about buying the Inkwell Press um, one, you can buy this. This one was $6.99. Again, you get so many pages with it. And I just wanted to mention that I bought all this stuff with my own hard-earned money. None of this stuff was sent to me for free for review. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, I, I do try to post a planner or paper or pen-related video every Tuesday. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and commenting and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Leave any questions down below, and I'll be happy to answer any of them. I can't wait to order my Inkwell Press. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a review for that soon. And I guess I'll talk to you next time. Bye.